Hi, my name is Sandra. I moved to Shanghai, China a few months ago and I got the COVID vaccine. <laughs> Okay, so it is like 9.05 and we just found out that we can get the COVID vaccine. I just quickly got dressed. Charlotte was literally eating breakfast. It's a whole freaking mess. I just cleaned her up. We're gonna get dressed and we're gonna go because the appointment is like between 10 and 10.30. So like the latest we can get there is like maybe 10.20 before they're like, sorry, you're late. Woo! Okay, we can do this. Let's get close. Okay, this is my vaccine outfit. <laughs> it's basically a tank so that they can do it on my arm. I have Charlotte's diaper bag and we're gonna go. Oh my God, I like, can't believe we're getting this. Charlotte, are you ready? The house is a mess, but that's fine. It's okay, we're allowed. Let's turn the light off. Light switch. Hmm, let's get some shoes on. I'm just gonna wear some sneakers since we're taking a cab. Hmm? And then we can order it, okay? Yeah! It's okay, it's okay. Do you have any special disease? No. Have you had any special medicine? No. Do you have any other vaccine No. No. Are you trying to get a private tour for China? No. Or like maybe? No. The second, 21 days of Okay, I just paid. It was 100 kwai, which is like $20. I have this little slip to go get it. It's time. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, I am leaving the vaccination center behind me. Uh, I'm gonna call a Didi and head home and then I'll like update when we get home. I got the COVID vaccine. <laughs> um, I got my first round uh, and I have to do another round and I'm gonna kinda go through everything. So basically my husband, through his work, he's a teacher at an international school, he was able to sign up to get the COVID vaccine and then his HR rep was like, okay, your wife is also eligible to get it through you and she just has to sign in and there's like basically an app through WeChat and we registered, she helped me register and I had to look for appointments. The place that we have to get it done is at a health center that's not in our town and it's about 30 minutes away. We've been there before for Charlotte's vaccines so at least we're familiar so I wasn't like worried about having to go by myself. We get there and I just had to bring my passport and I just like filled out a form that was like I consent to getting this vaccine and here's my like ID number and my name and I signed and dated. So one, I don't know like what brand of COVID vaccine it is. I feel like that's a very like states thing. I guess kind of Canada too where there's like different brands of the COVID vaccine. I just know that my vaccine was manufactured in Beijing. I got dose number one, and I, the nurse said that I can sign up to get the second dose in 21 days, so like three weeks. So I put a little reminder in the phone to make sure I do that for me and for Christian. We had to pay for it. I don't know if we had to pay for it because we're foreigners or if just everyone had to pay for it. I don't know, but we paid 100 kwai, which is $20. Oh, there were some like guidelines for like getting the vaccine. Wear loose clothing. It's 
basically just so you can like expose your arm for them to give you the vaccine. Don't get vaccinated on an empty stomach. Luckily, we were literally just finishing up breakfast. So even though it was last minute, check. No medication three days prior to getting vaccinated. I don't take any medication, so was perfectly fine that it was last minute. And then for after getting vaccinated, there's a few things. So one is no showering for 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm laughing because Christian was so upset about this, like, <laughs> that he can't shower. And I'm like, you'll survive. <laughs> like, he's literally just gonna shower tomorrow morning. It's okay. Drink plenty of water. So, I've had a few glasses since getting home, which is normal for me anyway. This is the, this is where it gets hard, okay? No coffee, no beer no seafood, and no spicy food for one week. How? I drink coffee every day. No beer, I don't drink beer, but I think when they say no beer, they mean just no alcohol. Like I don't think they meant specifically beer. Sometimes things get a little lost in translation. And no spicy food is gonna be hard. I cook all our food with hella spice. I'm gonna have to like, not. <laughs> Christian's like, do you want me to cook for the week? I'm like, no, it's okay. I can reel it in. We had already decided if the opportunity comes that we'll get vaccinated because just, it makes the most sense for us. We want to be able to travel and see our family and explore more without having to think about it so much. Also to prevent us, we've been very fortunate that since COVID happened, we haven't caught COVID. No one in our family has gotten COVID as well. We've all been really safe about it, um, which is great, especially because I was pregnant. And we kind of just want to keep that up and like just be as safe as we can. The experience of getting it done, uh, all the hospital workers, whenever we go to these healthcare centers for Charlotte, they're always very nice and very considerate of the fact that I don't speak Mandarin. And it was totally fine. There was actually someone there who spoke English today. And I think the reason for that is I noticed there was a lot of foreigners at this health center. My husband went with his coworkers and it was like a small group of them. And as I was there, a lot of foreigners were coming in to get their vaccine. So I think they purposely got someone who did speak English and Mandarin just for it to help. As for the getting of the vaccine itself, I haven't gotten a vaccine in forever. I think the last time I got a shot was when I was like four months pregnant. So this was like 2019 and I was traveling to Kenya uh, for Christmas. And I had to get, I think it was a tuberculosis vaccine. Oh man, and that one hurt. It made my arm sore for like three days. Like I like could barely lift my arm and I was worried that that was gonna happen now. But yeah, getting this shot today, it was stingy. I'm usually okay with like needles and stuff. So she like poked it in and it just was long. Like she just kept going. I'm like, how is this not over yet? But it wasn't excessive pain. It was just like, wow, this is taking forever. Like, why? I think Charlotte was more upset than I was because she like knows the environment now and gets like really sad when we go for vaccines. Immediately after my arm like felt a little sore in the area, like Charlotte um, wanted me to hold her and she like leaned on this arm and like I was like, whoa, we cannot do that. Like it kind of hurt. But by the time we were leaving and getting into the DD, which is taxis here, like Uber, uh, my arm was fine. And even now, like there's no, I don't know why I'm moving this arm, it's this one. Uh, right now, like my arm is totally fine. It's literally just the spot itself, which is like, I think, here yeah it's like right here the spot itself this little like circle feels sore like if someone was to hit me here yeah but the rest is fine it's obviously only been let's see it's currently 3 56 p.m and i got the vaccine at like 10 10 or like 10 o'clock i think exactly so it's only been a few hours but i really don't think much else is gonna happen i hope also like i don't i don't think i'll have any more side effects if i do i'll probably update on instagram so follow me there san exile otherwise i feel fine i'm not excessively tired 
I have like normal energy. Yeah, like it was okay. <laughs> Stay safe, make a decision that's right for you and like and subscribe. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.